a front runner has emerged for the Carolina Panthers to take with the number one pick, and that's Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud. Ever since the trade was made on Friday, two questions have been asked to me since then. Why did the Panthers trade D.J. Moore? Why did they give up so much, essentially? And who is Carolina going to take with that pick? I believe it's going to be C.J. Stroud, and this is why. It might be a tell that this trade happened right after the scouting combine. Now, why is that a tell? Well, Stroud had the best workout of all the quarterbacks in Indianapolis. In fact, former App State quarterback, NFL draft lead analyst, Daniel Jeremiah, in real time was saying, this is one of the best workouts I've ever seen. That's how good Stroud was in his on-field workout. Well, who's to say that Bryce Young wasn't just as good? Don't forget, Bryce Young was the only quarterback out of the QBs that participated in Indianapolis in interviews and working out in the on-field portion that decided not to throw. He said he was going to wait until his pro day. Now, ask yourself this question. Would Carolina given up, would they have given up everything that they gave up to get the number one pick? DJ Moore, a couple of ones, including the number nine pick, a couple of second round picks. Would they have done all that without having seen Bryce Young throw up close? They saw CJ Stroud. They didn't see Bryce Young. We're going to have to wait for his pro day in order for that to happen. If you're a skeptic, if you're still not sold on that, if that's not enough logic for you, you're thinking, Josh, Bryce Young might have been the best quarterback the last two years at Alabama. The tape speaks for itself. The draft, the underwear Olympics, as our friend Ryan McGee calls Indianapolis, that doesn't have much sway on me. I still think they could take Bryce Young with the number one pick. If that's not convincing of enough of, of an argument for you, listen to new Panthers quarterback coach Josh McCown breaking down the QBs because this is kind of amazing. I've never seen this before. Josh McCown did 30 plus minute breakdowns just a couple of weeks before he was hired as Panthers quarterbacks coach on both Bryce Young and CJ Stroud. He also did one on Kentucky quarterback Will Levis that you can find online. Josh Norris, who does a great job on all things draft related subjects, he had Josh McCown break down these quarterbacks extensively. And it's a fun watch to see what McCown might think. And it's relevant because he's the quarterback's coach of the Carolina Panthers now. This is just a few weeks before he was hired. And listen to the way he talked about Stroud. Physically, without doing the deep dive of, you know, who he is as a person and, and, and talking to his coaches and getting to know really C.J. Stroud all, all the way around. Physically, as I watch him, I think his skill set is very similar to Joe Burrow. OK, I think that would be the guy in the NFL and, you know, fellow fellow one time Buckeye that that I would look at and go, OK, he, he moved about same size, same frame, uh, same kind of uh, arm talent, moves the same way physically. He reminds me of Joe Burrow. Who every team in the NFL wants. Other than Patrick Mahomes, if you asked any team in the NFL. You can have one quarterback in the league, not named Patrick Mahomes. Who do you take? They'd all take Burrow. They'd all take Burrow right now. Joe Shiesty. And C.J. Stroud reminds Josh McCown, the Panthers quarterback's coach, of him? Okay, let's get to what he had to say about Bryce Young, though. The fastest way to get the ball from point A to point B is to throw it. So you got to be able to do that from the pocket. You have to. It's a requisite in this league, uh, and especially at his size. You, you know, to, to to think that you're going to come in and make a living running around and doing what we showed, you know, in that first section of plays, it's just hard to sustain for 17 games. And 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 so uh, so that's going to be an issue. All right. So you're going to have to throw from the pocket. That's going to be an issue. His size, stuff that he did running around in the SEC, that might not work across 17 games. And if he was taken. Number one, he'd be the smallest quarterback ever taken with the number one pick. While a guy, 
the Panthers quarterback coach just described to say reminds him of Joe Burrow is there on the board. Stroud has more tools. And Carolina, David Tepper, Frank Reich, they put together this all-star coaching staff that they paid a fortune for. Jim Caldwell on the offensive side. Sean McVay's right-hand man is the OC in LA. Reich himself, McCown. You put all these guys together who have backgrounds in coaching quarterbacks to find them a talent with these types of tools that you can develop. I don't think they're going to pass up on that. Stroud has the tools, and Bryce Young, it's a big knock, his size. That's going to be something that's used against him. And don't say... Well, what about the Ohio State quarterback issue? Not a lot of great quarterbacks have come out of Ohio State. Justin Fields, I think, put that one to rest. Carolina, they wouldn't have had to trade all of this to get a quarterback if they would have just taken Justin Fields a couple years ago, number eight in the draft. They did that rather than taking J.C. Horn. You wouldn't have to do all this. So it's just fitting that the Panthers finally get their quarterback by taking the guy who came after Justin Fields. It's just fitting that that's what it's going to be, I think. C.J. Stroud, he's the likely quarterback that Carolina traded up to take at number one.